this is a principle called the Kawanda effect. Essentially what's happening is it's creating like a little low pressure bubble okay. for the ball to float in. That's why even at a side angle like this, it's still floating. This is what the principle behind what makes curve balls curve in baseball. It's like the same kind of principle of like air flowing around the side to create little bubbles. That oh, because 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 the air is coming straight up and out of the hair dryer, mm -hmm. but when it hits the mass of the ball, it goes up on the sides of it. So it's almost like cupping it with the That's fluid right. that is exactly. air. I'm learning. It's exactly it. Now, wow, you explained that so well. But what's so great, like. That's like such a simple demo of like Harry Potter levitation, right? I mean, you literally look, you know, like a wizard, that just like <laughs> hovering this thing. And it's just, this is junk you have lying around your house. So it's like a demo that explains it. That's really cool. That's very approachable, right? This, this isn't some fancy scientific instrument. It's a ping pong yes. ball and a hair dryer. Yes.